This is Twit. I haven't. And, and really don't have much need for cross-platform secure messaging. iMessage does everything I need. But as I mentioned a few years ago, the talented PHP programmer Rasmus Vind, who's a listener of ours, when, when he, he's the guy who helped integrate Squirrel into the uh, Zen Foro web forums that GRC uses. And by, by the way, I'm so happy with that choice. If anyone is looking for forum software, I'm I'm could not be more pleased with the decision I made many years ago. Anyway, he suggested that we use Signal to converse while we were working to get all of the details worked out of getting Squirrel to log in. So that exposed me to Signal and to its somewhat awkward restrictions, which Leo, you and I have talked about from time to time because, you know, it's kind of a pain. So I was interested and pleased to read that Signal is beginning to loosen things up a bit. We talked about another instance of that loosening, I think, a week or two ago. The site SignalUpdateInfo.com, which apparently exists just to watch and report on Signal happenings, they wrote, um, Cloud Backup Status in Development. They said there has not been any official announcement, but it appears that Signal is currently working on cloud backup for iOS and Android. This feature would allow you to create cloud backups of your messages and media. While we have known they wrote about cloud backups since a commit to Signal iOS on October 20th, 2023, a recent commit to Signal for Android has revealed many more details. It looks like there could be both free and paid tiers. The free tier would provide full message and text backups, but only media backups from the last 30 days. The paid tier could provide full message text and media backups with a storage limit of one terabyte. From the commit, they wrote, we also know that signal backups will be end-to-end -end encrypted and completely optional with the ability to, to delete them at any time. Cloud backups could significantly improve usability on all platforms by preventing complete data loss in the event that you lose your phone or encounter some other issue. Uh, and apparently it also suggests that there would be a means for migrating content between devices, which would really be a nice boost in usability. So, you know, bravo for Signal. I don't know if they're feeling competitive pressure, if they're feeling like, well, you know, there's like their own users are saying, why can't I do X, Y, or Z? And they're saying, well, yeah, okay, that's probably a good point. We need to make this better. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.